In today's video, I'll go over how to paint the blue plasma glow that I do on my Cadian models. Here you can see we have a Cadian model with an unpainted plasma gun. We're going to fill in the blues today using a series of colors in order to make a glow that is brighter at the recesses and at the center peak of the plasma gun. First step is to base coat the coils of the plasma gun in Calador Sky Blue. Make sure to thin this down so that it flows in really well to the recesses and doesn't take away any of the detail. These will be critical later as we apply the other colors. Using the tip of your brush, add Calador Sky to the holes and recesses on the front of the plasma gun as well. Don't worry about being too neat on this step. You can clean this up later as you apply the next layers. Next, we're going to apply a thin down layer of SoTech Green. To do this, I've applied the SoTech Green to my wet palette and added just a little bit of water to it in order to get the right consistency. You're looking for about a milk-like consistency in your paint. When applying SoTech Green, do it about four-fifths of the way across the surface area leaving the ridges on both sides still exposed with Calador Sky. Next, using the tip of your brush, apply Sotec Green to the holes on the front of the plasma gun in the barrel. Do this in a way that leaves some of the Calador sky still exposed. This way we can have a gradient of blue. I prefer on the holes on the front to have the brighter colors more towards the rear of the slots. As you can see, we're starting to get a nice transition of blues across the model. Next, we'll apply a very thin layer of Temple Guard Blue about halfway across the coils this time, both on the sides and the top. To do this, I've placed it onto my wet palette and thinned it down once again to a little bit thinner consistency than what I did the SoTec Green. When applying Temple Guard Blue, make sure to only go about halfway up the sides of the plasma gun coils and only about a third of the way from the center across the top of the coils. Apply a very thin layer as well to the recesses on the front of the gun where we've applied the other blues as well, making sure to place the Temple Guard blue farther towards the back. Now we can see the blue shades really starting to take form. If you've had your blue overtake any of your other layers that you've already applied, simply go back with your other colors, then down, and apply over top of it in order to correct any of the excess layers. Next, we're going to apply the edge paint, Baharoth Blue. Now, this is a very thin paint, which is why it's an edge paint by Citadel. You could make this by mixing other colors with a little bit of pigment medium or water, um, but here we're going to use the actual paint color. With this one, make sure to thin it down to a consistency in which it'll flow into the recesses and not overtake the raised coil areas of your plasma gun. Get this to a little bit less than milk consistency on your wet palette and then apply to the coils only about a third and a quarter of the way up the plasma gun coils. Make sure when applying this to the top and the front recesses of the plasma gun that you do it in a very thin line at this point. We're getting into the finer highlights of the plasma gun glow. Before we move on to the next color, here's a quick recap of the model so far with any of the corrections I've made to the layers I've applied. The final color that we're going to apply to the plasma gun glow 
is Althwin Gray. Now, this is an off-white gray that's a bit cool in tone. I like using off-whites rather than actual whites, just so we don't get too stark of a contrast. Now, thin this down to a point in which it's running almost like water. You may need to even apply this in two extremely thin coats right to the very edges of the coils. So, get it onto your wet palette, thin it very well, and then with a fine tipped brush, apply very neatly to the bottom of the side of your plasma gun coils, to the top center of your plasma gun in a very thin line, and to the front of your plasma gun in the deepest recess heading towards the back of the plasma gun just as a little dot. Now our plasma gun glow is complete. You can see here on the finished model, especially this blue, adds a lot to the Cadian tan and green. With that, I think this model is ready to deploy with his squad.